Um, I'm out here with Eddie, he's the cameraman, um, doing a scavenger hunt. Uh, I'll let you guys see how it goes. So, first location, um, Douglas Campus Center. If you guys can see that, it's a picture of Eddie from back when I met him in 2006. Oh, <laughs> this is me from a few years ago. As you can see, we're at Douglas. I went to Douglas uh, College at Rutgers University. I graduated in January of 2007. Let me show you guys something. This is the place where Eddie first saw me at the bus stop at Douglas College. Um, I'm gonna let him actually tell you the story. Uh, this is the bus stop where uh, I first saw her. Um, I used to have class right around this area. Um, as soon as I had a class, I would come to this bus stop and I noticed a, um, a quirky girl with purple shoes and manga in her hand. And I just felt like she'd be somebody interesting I would get along with. But I wasn't Look sure way, how baby. to go approach it because I was a really shy person. So about a month later, um, Look this way, I was able to um, go about it and actually and it was about a month later that everything It's happened. very windy and cold out here, guys, but that's uh, the first stop in the scavenger hunt. We will see you at the next stop. Now we're at Rock Off Hall. This was the dorm that Eddie was in um, his last two years at Rutgers University. Downtown New Brunswick on George Street. Um, so you'll see the clue here. It's a picture of me and Eddie from my birthday weekend a couple years ago. This I think was Valentine's Day. Soho. Soho. And his nickname is the Road Dog. If, what's the guy's name? Billy? Yeah, Jesse bad. James. Jesse James. If you, you're into WWE. So Road Dog's Party Zone. That was what was on his dorm. So this is the next clue. Um, Colson Creamery now. This is where right outside of Rock Off's old dorm. Eddie used to work here, in fact. So, the Ro Rocky Road Dog was, um, he had a radio show on here in NewBrunswick.com called The uh, Dog House. So, um, I took this, it was chocolate cake batter, ro roasted almonds, marshmallows, Oreo cookies, and Reese's Pieces. I took out the almonds and the Reese's Pieces. Um, and this was a birthday cake that he got me a couple years ago. So, we're at Colstone. Hey guys, we just love Colstone Creamery. Eddie used to work here, like I said, so his manager, Frances, is actually still working here. She just gave us this cake to celebrate our engagement. Um, it is a French vanilla and chocolate ice cream cake, and um, she did say that she'd be around for three years, so if we wanted to come back and have her make the wedding cake, we could do that, so I think we're going to take her up for that. Um, yeah, so this was on the house for her, because <laughs> she's so sweet, she's so happy for us, so... The moments that I had here were just so much fun. Um, just being able to work with Francis and work with everybody that was here, um, we all got along like the eclectic crew that we were. So it was really great to come back here and um, still see her and catch up with her. Exactly. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. So all right, guys. See you at the next spot. Uh, the next place for scavenger hunt. We're now in downtown New Brunswick. We're right outside the train station. Um, this is the round girl, which I'm still crying that it closed down. It's a stupid Greek diner now. Me and Eddie went there all the time together. The Dog House, this was the radio show that Eddie had on HearNewBrunswick.com. He was on every Friday. He played hip-hop music, independent hip-hop. This is me and Eddie at a Mets game, Mets versus Phillies. This is me and Ed at Madame Tussauds in New York in 2007. This is one of the first pictures we ever took together. It's in New York after... This is me and Eddie after My Chemical Romance. Um, this is me and Eddie at New York Anime Festival. I was Chi from Chobits and he was Hideki. So I'm going to do a close of all the pictures. This is obviously, like I said, that's the New Brunswick train station. We'll see you at the next place on the scavenger hunt. See you. We're at Nichols now. This was the dorm that Eddie was at in 2007 when uh, the friendship really picked up. Um, I met him. Fucking freezing out here. Um, this is a picture of me and Eddie from 2007. Again, uh, after Drip Class Heroes. So, I'm gonna let Eddie get in the shop. So, we've got two more stops. Two so, more. we'll see you then. You see ya. There. Okay, we're now at Bush um, Student Center. We're inside the food court. If you're asking why there are two math graphs, let me explain. I suck at math. Okay? I'm so bad at math that when I transferred to Rutgers from University of Delaware, 
I failed the placement test, and even though I had taken two math courses at uh, UDEL, they made me take, um, what, four math courses? No, three or four more math courses at the community college. Here's the point. Eddie is very good at math. So um, he actually tutored me here at the student center. It was the night of my 25th birthday. So this was six years ago, um, October 2006. October 2006. And I left my party early so Eddie could tutor me because I had a really big test the next day. And um, the XY graphs, I just really had a problem with. He was a little bit snarky with me about that, but he hey. did explain them to me. So, uh, okay, so we are on to our next and last, the final place. So, see you there. See ya. Hi guys, um, sorry, I'm trying not to get emotional, um, it's not working, um, this is the last place, I feel ultra gay, I'm gonna edit in an ultra gay seal, but, um, I met Eddie for the first time at Livingston Student Center in Piscataway, at Rutgers, so bars is where, for all intents and purposes, you can say it was our first date, we had pizza together, we talked a really long time, why is there a M&M's pack of M&M's peanut equals a lot of money, right? Because M&M's aren't expensive. I'm going to let Eddie go into more detail with this in a second. But there was a, there was some, there was a group selling M&M's, and it was $1.25 a bag. I bought a bag. Eddie came up to me. I did not know him at all. We had no classes together, nothing. So a guy I didn't know came up to me and said, Damn, $1.25 for a bag of M&M's, that's too damn expensive. That's the best of my recollection. So I said, okay, I said hi, we talked, um, basically I added him on MySpace. You know, it's a long story, but we became best friends. We started going out a year later. So, um, yeah, this is the last place, so I'll let Eddie talk. And I added her <coughs> into the story. She did explain the first date and everything, but I forget which charity it was that we were coming off of a bus stop, and I finally got the chance to really encourage up. And, um, actually tried to talk to her. So the icebreaker I felt would have been the m and M. So we went to that table, we were looking at the candies they offered, and I remember just being like weirded out about the prices and I kind of just, you know, casually said it out loud and possibly even tried to get attention as well. <laughs> I was just like, man, these, these candy's expensive. I never yeah. really had to do, you know, pay for candy like right, this. Right, right, right. Especially since when I used to go to corner stores near my house, it would be about 50 cents. The bodega. Cents. Yeah, the bodegas. So after that comment, I, we both ended up getting candy, and I felt that that was the opportunity I could to go up and say hi and talk about how it was a month and you saw me on the bus. Talk about how. Back to um, seeing her on the bus, because um, the bus that we would take would go strike from Douglas campus here to Livingston campus, and each time it was just like, never really got a chance to do anything, never got a really chance to do anything. Then when I finally figured out what to do, we got on the bus stop, I tried to sit, sit on the bus, figure out a way to do it, we both walked into the student center, and Lo and behold, the M&M stand happened to be there, and everything just kind of went to. You guys, so here is the box. It's from Littman's. Uh, wait, real quick. Uh, hold this. You guys, I, I mentioned this in one of my tag videos, but this is the promise ring that Eddie got me um, April 2008. So that was our two-year anniversary. Um, it was a promise that he'd marry me a few years later. So I did lose it, um, but he bought it for me a second time. Um, two years ago for my 30th birthday. I think it was two years ago. So um, he's going to um, replace that with the engagement ring now. So, so wait, oh, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> no, this is crazy. Not no, I have to edit that out. <laughs> I don't mean no like that. You know what, I, I'm like, oh my God, emotional. I'm a glass case of emotion. <laughs> okay, wow. Mm, okay, mm. so there's the ring, you guys. Mm, okay, um. <laughs> Awkwardly kiss on camera while filming ourselves. Okay. <laughs> okay, you guys, so something we did was. Oh, you want to do it? We came up with reasons that we want to spend the rest of our lives with each other. These are Eddie's reasons to me, these are my reasons to Eddie. How many, it's four, four pages. pages of this, so. It's like stanzas and pictures. There's one part of Eddie's that I'm gonna to read to you, and one part of what I gave to him, the rest is like our information. I want you to read the Astro Pikachu okay. stanza. Did you figure that out? Yeah. Okay, so this is the part of Eddie's. Um, 
Okay. <laughs> we are partners, lovers, best friends, the proverbial herp that always needs the dirt by its side. Like herp derp. <laughs> okay, so, and I'm gonna let you get to that part. <laughs> The stanza she wants me to read is the second stanza. We go, uh, uh, it basically describes how me and her are the perfect match, and she gives me a, uh, a lot of perfect matches. Peanut butter and jelly, mac and cheese, salt and pepper, the moon and the stars, and ash and Pikachu. <laughs> here, show them, show them on the, wait, wait, oh. See, <laughs> if you see it on here, ash and Pikachu, and that's the Sonic shirt and Sonic hat, so. Okay, guys, so that was the scavenger hunt. Thank you so much, Eddie. <laughs> I loved his reason. I loved everything. It's so, everything just worked out the way it, uh, I knew it would, and I'm just really happy to have uh, had it happen this way. Okay, bye guys. We'll see you later, guys. Okay.